H&M has a new home in New York City. Pop singer and fashionista Lady Gaga was on hand as a retailer made its mark last night in Times Square, opening up a new 42,000 square foot high tech mega store. It was oh, look at her, star studded. What does she wear? All right, Bloomberg correspondent Olivia Stearns has been looking into H&M as it continues expansion uh, in the U.S. And you always want to know what she's wearing. Yeah, but you know, a lot of people have actually been saying that is the most normal thing they <laughs> have ever seen Lady Gaga wear to an event. But the question here is, I think, will all this glitz and glamour actually pay off? And H&M thinks it will. In fact, they told us it's going to be their most productive store in America. That's hard to believe because you think how expensive all this Times Square real estate is. You think how expensive all this technology is that they're putting into the store. I don't know if they actually paid Gaga to be there. Remember, she's there also promoting her new album, Art Pop. She had fans there, Betty, last night waiting for over 24 hours out in the cold. It's incredible. Really? But in, really. Really. Hard to believe. <laughs> but anyway, a lucky few. I think 20 got to actually spend half an hour shopping with her. The point is, though, these stores do pay for themselves. I spoke to Richard Jaffe. He's an analyst at Stiefel Nicholas. He says it will. I also spoke to, or we spoke to, the U.S. president of H&M. And he says spending heavily on these big destination flagships, it's actually key to driving sales, all part of their multi-strategy channel. Well, we launched here uh, online in the U.S. in August and have been very well received. So we're very happy to have another channel out there and can in some way really um, help the customer with a multi-channel experience. So uh, we're very happy and so far very good. So the challenge is, though, in these days when you can find anything online is you've got to create a compelling enough in-store experience to actually lure shoppers in. And so what they chose to do here is really spend heavily on technology to try to draw customers. Okay, so tell us the technology. All right, one, one of the most exciting things is something called try and buy, whereby you can actually pay for something in the dressing room. That's great news because I'm sure you, like me, have many times actually wanted to wear something out of the store. So yeah. they'll have cashiers, they'll have registers in there. You can pay from the dressing room. That will also be key because it will help them move volume. That's the challenge with these big stores where tens, 20,000 people walk through every day.